Renaissance is a term used to describe a period in European history marking the transition from the Middle Ages to modernity covering the 15th and 16th centuries. It occurred after the crisis of the late Middle Ages and was associated with great social change, including changes in art and music. Good evening and welcome to another episode of Evening Serenade on Empire Opera Radio. I'm Wendell Saavedra, your host, and I will be bringing you a new program every Thursday evening at 10 p.m. Eastern. Three major crises in the 14th and 15th centuries led to radical changes in all areas of society, demographic collapse, political instabilities, and religious upheavals. The Great Famine and Black Death, known as the Bubonic Plague, reduced the population perhaps by half or more. It took until 1500 for the European population to regain the levels it had in 1300. Popular revolts in late medieval Europe and civil wars between nobles, such as the Wars of the Roses, were common, with France fighting internally nine times. And there were international conflicts between kings such as France and England in the Hundred Years' War, and the unity of the Roman Catholic Church was shattered by the Western Schism. Out of all this chaos came a renaissance, or rebirth derived from the concept of Roman humanitas and the rediscovery of classical Greek philosophy. This new thinking became a cultural movement that profoundly affected European intellectual life. Beginning in Italy and spreading to the rest of Europe, by the 16th century its influence was felt in art, architecture, philosophy, literature, music, science, technology, politics, and religion. Scholars employed the humanist method in study and searched for realism and human emotion in art. As you will hear in tonight's program, this renaissance produced a unifying musical language, in particular the polyphonic style of the Franco-Flemish school, and demand for music as entertainment increased with the emergence of a bourgeois class. Out of their pandemic, what better way to express music than Kyrie eleison, Lord have mercy. Here is the Tudor consort performing the Kyrie from Missa Victime Pascali Laudis by Italian composer Giovanni Animuccia.
That was the Tudor Consort performing the Kyrie from Missa Victime Pascali Laudis by Giovanni Animuccia. One of the more popular composers from the Renaissance, Giovanni Perluigi da Palestrina. Up next is his work, Sicut Lilium Introduxit Me Rex, which is translated from the Bible in the Book of Songs of Solomon. The king brought me into the wine cellar, he established charity in me, supported me with flowers, encompassed me with apples, because I languish for love. Here again is the Tudor Consort.
That was the Tudor Consort with Sicut Lilium Introduxit Me Rex by Palestrina. Up next, the music of John Dowland. Here is guitarist Andreas Linde performing Dowland's Fantasia No. 7. If you have just joined us, welcome to Evening Serenade on Empire Opera Radio. I am your host, Wondell Saavedra, and I will be bringing you a new program every Thursday evening at 10 p.m. Eastern. You can visit us online at empireopera.org or see in the description below on how to submit your recordings to be featured on our radio show. You just heard Fantasy No. 7 by John Dallin with Andreas Linde on guitar. Johann Stadelmeier was an Austrian composer born in the Renaissance era. It is said his music is nearly Baroque, but still clinging to the Renaissance polyphony. 
Here is the Missa Concertata No. 3 by Stottlemyre, performed by the Collegium Vocale Innsbruck, Vocapella Innsbruck, Concerto Palatino, conducted by Bernhard Seberer.
You are listening to Evening Serenade on Empire Opera Radio. That was the Missa Concertata No. 3 by Johann Stadelmeier, Bernhard Saberer conducting. Renaissance music was not exclusive to English and Latin works. Our next work is an anonymous song in Anglo-Norman French, a language which stems 
from the 11th century. Quand la douce juvencelle, in some of the lyrics translates, when the gentle young lady, the very gracious and beautiful one with whom I am in love, wants to make me happy, must I not obey her? Of course, yes, because it is she who calls me her sweet friend, I could not be happier. When the gentle young lady, the very gracious and beautiful one with whom I am in love, pleasure in me renews, bitter nature I do not look for, to serve desire in all places. This song is performed by the American Medieval and Renaissance Ensemble, a duo by the name of Asteria, with Sylvia Rhine soprano and Eric Redlinger tenor and also playing the lute. That was the duo Asteria with Con La Douce Juvencelle. We close tonight's program with Glory to God in the Highest. Here again is the Tudor Consort performing the Gloria from Missa Victime Pascali Laudis by Giovanni Animuccia. 
That was the Tudor Consort with Gloria in Excelsis Deo by Giovanni Animuccio. There have been many Renaissance eras throughout history, and it seems we are heading for another one even today. A rebirth, renewal, Renaissance to promote new and good ideas as well as art and music. Thank you for listening. I am your host, Wandel Saavedra, and I will be back next week with another program. May you be blessed with good health, happiness, and lots of beautiful music. Good night.